Over the last century, the burning of fossil fuels has increased the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Greenhouse gases accumulate in our atmosphere, causing Earth's temperature to rise. In 2015, the Paris Agreement adopted a target for global warming not to exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius. This sets a limit on the additional carbon we can add to the atmosphere, known as the carbon budget. Today, only around 17% of the carbon budget is left. This is 10 years at our current rate of emissions. Across the globe, each country reports its annual greenhouse gas emissions to the United Nations. Scientists set these emissions against estimates of the carbon absorbed by Earth's carbon sinks. This is otherwise known as the bottom-up approach in calculating the carbon budget. Another way to track carbon sources and sinks is to measure the amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from space, the top-down approach. As well as tracking atmospheric carbon, ESA's Climate Change Initiative is using satellite observations to track other carbon stocks on both land and sea. How we use land accounts for around a quarter of our greenhouse gas emissions. Forests and their soils are the largest store of carbon on the land. Fire acts as a conduit for carbon to pass from the land to the atmosphere. And phytoplankton in the ocean are an important carbon sink. ESA's Regional Carbon Cycle Analysis and Processes Project is using this information to reconcile the differences between the bottom-up and top-down approaches. Observations are combined with atmospheric and biophysical computer models to deduce carbon fluxes at the surface. This will greatly improve the precision of each greenhouse gas budget and help separate natural fluxes from agricultural and fossil fuel emissions. This will help us gauge whether we can stay within the 1.5 degrees Celsius carbon budget or if we have to deal with the more severe consequences of further warming.